shut it down, can't they? If the government wanted to close Summerhill, they'd have done it years ago. Have I missed the meeting? You're for the high jump. Oh, no. I've heard from all the others. Of course, Roger. Um, sorry. Um, baby rabbits only require feeding once a day. Sorry. Um, right. Here we are. Observations. Are the children getting a proper education? It depends on what you mean by proper education. One that generally includes going to lessons. There's one 14-year-old who's attained A-level standards in the sciences. And judging by those photographs, he's not the only academic high-flyer. Children who are inclined to learn are one thing. But what about the rest of them? They're allowed to fall behind. This is a failing school model. But what about the good things? I've written lots on citizenship, anti-bullying, inclusiveness... Our job isn't to inspect children's democracies. But what about the way the community has dealt with Ryan? You know, that boy. They've embraced him. I don't pretend to understand Summerhill, and it's certainly not perfect, but there's something about this place. Magic? Oh, sorry. Not disturbing anything, am I? Not at all. Shall we step out for a moment? Who wants to come? Peter? I'm starting on the ship's mast. How about you, Maddie? All right. Yes, come on. Ooh. Look, Summer Hill is on the TBW list and has been for years. TBW? That explains all the inspections. We're pecking them to death. I need to present our findings to Mrs. Redhead. T-E-W. see that and you're climbing trees which I've banned you from doing it's dangerous why aren't you answering your phone hmm and why aren't you in class I told you to go to lessons it's like the exam when I write my head seizes up like I'm being blown up from the inside just can't or won't that's not true mum please listen all right go and pack your things Maddie we're going home no. I love it here. 
and happy. Now! Do what get, I tell you! Get off me! <gasps> You must ensure that pupils are fully engaged in study across a broad and balanced curriculum. But we listen to what each of our children wants to learn about, and then we tailor make our curriculum and timetables to suit them. I mean, the school fits the child. That's Summerhill. With respect, Mrs. Redhead, you don't really believe a child can be trusted to know what's best for them, surely? That's exactly what we believe. Children can't fulfill their true potential if they're not free to be themselves. <laughs>